Hello, Sagittarius viewers. I am going to look into what your person is thinking, feeling, wanting, uh, what action they might be taking towards you over the next couple weeks or so. Just whatever the cards want to say here. The story I've been getting for, you know, quite a Quite a few months now for those of you that I channel that are drawn to these Sagittarius videos is just someone who's got someone who's a really good person deep down, but they have commitment issues. But those commitment issues stem from childhood wounds, you know, childhood abandonment. Um, it could be negative relationships with exes as well, just just not being good enough. So this person kind of just can't really commit to anything. This could be someone who. Um, goes from job to job a lot or they just go from relationship to relationship or they just kind of it's like they want the emotional connection they want that sense of family but when they actually have it that vulnerability scares them but it's like your person is a deep person like they are emotional they are a deep thinker they are intelligent but they're just um damaged you know but it's not like I mean, usually, usually when I channel people that have commitment issues, I mean, a lot of it's it's always different. But you know, sometimes I just get people that just kind of want to screw around, or they just don't want to be tied down. And with with this group of Sagittarius, it's kind of different. It's more like they're just they're afraid. They're um, they've just got a lot of childhood wounds that they keep carrying over. So it's like they have the emotional depth to have a long term relationship, but it's just like when it comes down to it. It's just something that they don't really know how to do. Like, it's something that scares them. And if this resonates with you, you might want to check out some of my earlier Sagittarius videos because I do have a couple of videos where I've gone in in depth into explaining, you know, what they've gone through in childhood and just the, the things that kind of made them the way that they are. The last video I did, I was getting that there was some sort of major epiphany. Like, there was something that you said to them that maybe they weren't listening before, or maybe just that that level of vulnerability and that commitment and that that open conversation just kind of freaked them out before. And um, now they're finally starting to think back to what you said. They're starting to really listen finally. And it's starting to kind of just resonate and make more sense to them for a change, you know? So I think, especially if you haven't talked to this person in a while, they might be thinking about things that you said in the past that are kind of... I think they have like a new perspective now they're starting to really think about things that you've said um maybe you called them out kind of in ways other people just couldn't uh, so they're they ha they do have a respect for you even if the relationship or the connection was kind of chaotic there is a level of respect there i think the hierophant reversed three of wands upright Ooh. the Strength card, Nine of Wands, King of Swords, Seven of Wands, the Devil, the Hanged Man, and the Six of Cups. Yeah, I'm getting nostalgia because we got the Six of Cups here. I'm getting a lot of nostalgia. Like, they're really thinking about some things that you said in the past. They might be, um, sorry, let me level that out for you guys here. They might just be really thinking about things that um, that you said or things that you did or maybe thinking about the last night that they saw you. There's just something about that where there's there's some type of nostalgia taking place here right now. Let me see if I can adjust this. I don't know why I'm having such a hard time with this right now. Hold on. <laughs> there we go. That's better. Okay. Sorry about that. <laughs> So I'm feeling like this person is wanting to win you back. I think that they I think that they said or did something that they didn't mean out of of, you know, that fear of commitment, that fear. I think that they understood that with you they would have to have that deep open relationship like they just kind of know what kind of person you are. They know that they wouldn't be able to just have that average relationship. Um, and they just know the kind of commitment that would be required for the kind of relationship that you want to have and so it scared them and they ran. And I think that they're wanting to come back in, but I feel like they're coming back in with like a King of Swords energy. It's kind of like, like they've still got some pride. I think that they know that they messed up, but they're not really completely willing to admit that they messed up. Like they might sort of half-ass it, like, 
if I don't know if you guys got an argument or like what might have happened, but it's just kind of this energy where it's like they want to come back in and talk, but it's like they want to do it in like the King of Swords or Queen of Swords um, energy. You know what I mean? Like if they were coming in as like the King or Queen of Cups, it'd be like it'd be vulnerable, it'd be open, it'd be like I'm I'm so sorry I messed up. The King of Swords, it's more like. Like, they miss you and they could be crying over you. They are in all this nostalgic energy, but they're not actually willing to show you that. Like, they might kind of still be a little bit defensive. Or they might also be worried that you're going to be defensive. Maybe if you guys argued or there was miscommunication or a long period of time without talking, there might be kind of like a fear of awkwardness, just not knowing what to say here. But with the Three of Wands and the Hierophant reversed here, I feel like in the Strength card, to, and not actually all of these, I kind of feel like they're on a mission to come back to you. Like they're starting to really think about that. Because um, with the Hierophant upright, the Hierophant upright would mean, you know, traditions, rules to be respected, kind of being stuck in their head, self-sabotaging, thinking, you know, this is the way things have to be. This is, uh, th this is just how things are. Like I just kind of a, almost like a closed-minded mentality like they might present themselves as an open-minded person but there's some they've got some closed-mindedness that you're now starting to realize that they're kind of stuck in their ways um, or that they've been stuck in their ways a little bit and could be with their commitment issues too it might just be like well you know I'm they might make ex they might maybe they made some excuses like I think that some part of them knows like it stems from childhood it stems from from exes leaving them it stems from all the heart like they are a very deep person they are a very emotional person and, and so it's like I think that they kind of shut their heart down at a certain point but I feel like maybe in the past they've made excuses you know instead of being like you know what I've been through this in childhood maybe I need to get counseling and I need to to learn how to communicate better and I need to learn more be more open instead they kind of make excuses like well you know I I not ready for a relationship because I need to focus on work right now or you know I need to um I want to travel for a while and I can't really do that if I'm with someone or I I something like some kind of excuse you know some kind of like stubbornness where in the past they were just like oh this is the way things are this is this is just how I am. This is just how it is. Like, sorry, we, you know, I'm not going to commit, blah, blah, blah. And now they're getting out of that energy because it's reversed. And with the three of wands, it's like strength, um, stubbornness. I feel like they might kind of feel that they're losing you too. Like maybe you're not thinking about them as much or maybe you like you are, but you're learning how to hold space for them and not have your life revolve around them. So it's like an energetic difference. And so they feel that. They feel that you're not clinging to them. They feel that you're kind of doing your own thing, that maybe maybe you're starting to talk to other people. Maybe you're starting to focus on yourself or career more, self-care, whatever. It's like they just feel that energetic difference that, that you're not right there anymore. It's kind of like they wanted to go out and explore the world and do their own thing, and they wanted to always have that safety net to just be able to come back to you. And now they're kind of energetically, because you guys have cords you know, with soulmates or twin flames, you guys have um, red cords that are attached to each other. So sometimes you can pick up on their energy or they can pick up on yours. And and so they're feeling this energetic difference. They're feeling that you're not as focused on them as you used to be and that that safety net isn't there. They can't just go do whatever and come back when they're lonely and um then go off again you know they're they're feeling that you're you're moving on or that you're focused on other people or focused on whatever else and and so they're trying to really be strong here they're trying to be stubborn and strong and come forward with the knight of wands i think that they know it's going to be an obstacle i don't think they expect it to be easy which is kind of probably the pro probably why they're wanting to message or talk to you but in the king of swords or queen of swords energy because it's like they know it's kind of, they know, look, look at her. She's like, she's mad. <laughs> they, they're like, what if this is your face when I message you? Like, they're like, they don't want to, they don't want miscommunication or arguments or craziness, you know? Um, <laughs> they're like, look at her. She's like, she's pissed. She's like, oh, you did something wrong, boy. <laughs> she's not having it. Or it could, could be male or female, bo or both. You know, it could be male, male, female, female, whatever, whatever energy you guys are in. But... <laughs> But he's kind of, it's like this person is afraid that your face is going to, you're going to have that face when, when they message you that you're, <laughs> that you're going to shut it down, that you're, you're going to argue or miscommunicate or that there's going to be important things that have to be discussed and that, 
maybe you guys are just, you're going to argue about them. Like maybe, I think there's some things that they want to tell you. Like they want, there might've been some things that happened that they want to discuss with you. Like they want to clear the air. Like they want maybe some things that they were confused about regarding you or regarding the relationship. Like maybe they weren't sure what you wanted in the relationship, just some kind of confusion. They want to clear it up with you and they might be kind of afraid that that might lead to miscommunication and arguments because they know that they, they need to have this important deep discussion with you. Um, whatever it is like with your history, it's like they need to have some kind of important deep conversation with you and they just know it's going to be kind of chaotic. So they're a little bit like on the fence about that, you know? Um, but it's like, so they, they know it's a battle. They know nine of wands would be like, there's one final battle. Like they know that success is possible, but they know that there's another battle to take place before they reach success. So they're not coming in thinking like, oh, you're just going to Oh, welcome them back with open arms everything's going to be all roses and daisies they they know that there's going to be miscommunication or arguments or things that you're going to be upset about that you're going to want to talk about they know that there's they know that they're about to deal with some crap here look at she's not playing she's done she's like mm -mm, mm -mm. <laughs> um so so yeah he he or she is wanting to come forward but again they're they might be a little test in the waters a little bit they might be spying on your social media maybe asking mutual friends about you trying to kind of get an idea it's like they're still holding on to pride they're still they're wanting to come in but they're just worried about the arguments or they're worried that something's just, that it's just not going to go right so they're kind of testing the waters right now and there's not like a guarantee that they're going to message you this is just the energy is saying that they are thinking about messaging you but again that they're they're really trying to think about what um how to avoid that energy. <laughs> or I think that I don't even know if they think that they can avoid that energy. I think that they kind of have a, a realization that they're going to have to deal with this, that it's going to be messy at first, that there's going to be a lot to talk about that, you know, maybe if you guys have a, like a, a history together that you guys might need couples counseling or communication classes or something like they're preparing for this work. You know what I mean? Like they're, they're preparing for this, this commitment here. Finally, you know, it's, it seems like it, and hmm. looking at these cards here, I think that they either have or they're working on it, getting into this new perspective because we've got say the Sun of Wands energy. That's like that's more kind of defensive, guarded, unsure energy. And that's kind of what the, I think that's kind of what they're expecting from you when they come in. So they're kind of since they're stubborn and prideful, they're kind of just matching that energy there where they're like. You know what I mean? Like they're matching it before they even talk to you. They're kind of just right off the bat assuming you're going to be in that energy. So being kind of defensive. And with the devil, it's like they're trying to stay on top of this and really think about this so that they make sure, you know, the desire is there to message you. They're really thinking of, I really feel like they really are thinking about message. Like the desire is there. I just don't, I can't say for sure if they're going to do it or not, but, but the thought is there. But I think they're, one of the concerns is with the devil energy is slipping back into old patterns, like could be miscommunication or just, um, you know, addiction, moving too quickly, just, just negative things that maybe took this relationship off course before they want to really make sure that they don't slip into those patterns. I think that they've been really introspective and really in their head about you and really thinking about this connection. And so I think that they have a new perspective. Like, I think that before they just kind of sabotaged it and they're like, well, this, this connection is toxic or this connection, like we argue too much or we miscommunicate. Or, um, you know, we'll, like we move too quickly or, or we're, we have too many differences or we have too many similarities, even whatever, whatever the situation might be for you guys. It's like they have this very stubborn perspective and with the Hierophant reverse and the devil card here, it's like they, they're getting out of that perspective now through willpower and strength. And maybe their guides intervening and kind of showing them the truth about the situation. Like, hey, you overstepped. Like, you were wrong. You made incorrect assumptions about this person. I mean, they made incorrect assumptions about you, incorrect assumptions about the connection. And it was probably them self-sabotaging, too. Like, they didn't like that vulnerability. They were scared of how vulnerable and how open they were and how connected you guys were. They didn't know what to do with it. And with the hangman here, it's like they have a new perspective. Like, I think that they've really been introspective for a while and they've been really thinking about this. And so they're kind of thinking now, like, like they're listening to you now. They're going back and thinking about things that you said and did and they're seeing it from a new perspective now. And they're like you know, maybe these differences aren't such a big deal, or maybe, 
maybe I could have done better to communicate with this person or, you know what I mean? Like they're just looking at things differently. They have this new perspective that's come in. They have these epiphanies that have come in regarding your connection, just kind of sensing like this actually is my soulmate or this actually is my twin flame. Um, kind of just like have this, they have this awareness coming in and six of cups you know they're nostalgic they're really nostalgic they're really in their head about you they're really thinking about you right now they're really missing you publicity social media yes some of them are stalking you apology regret they really want to apologize but again they're apologizing with this king or queen of swords energy yeah apologize i think partly what they want to apologize for is that it was a power struggle in the past that they were always you were chasing them, they were chasing you, you guys were never on the same page. It was always just games and they never really completely let you in. And now they're really overthinking this. Um, they sabotage, they want to apologize for that too, for overanalyzing, sabotaging. Yeah, I think that this is an ex from your past, I would say. This is someone that you have a history with. I think that you, you're you showing up in their dreams or they're showing up in your dream, vice versa. I don't know. Um, or there's some kind of telepathic communication going on. Because I remember I was getting the red threads. I was getting like, you got this connection with them. Yeah, pride, stubbornness. You guys have, it's like you guys want to talk to each other, but there's like this sense of pride. And it's like, I think that they were waiting for you to make a move maybe. And I think maybe now they're starting to realize like you actually are moving on. You actually are like, you know what? I don't deserve this crap. I deserve someone who's going to love me and be there for me and commit to me. I don't deserve to have to go through this roller coaster anymore. I deserve someone who's going to want me as I am. You know what I mean? And so it's like, I think that they were waiting for you to reach out first or they were waiting for you to say something or waiting for you to be the more vulnerable one like you used to be, like you used to chase them and now you're not chasing them. And they've been holding on to this pride, but I think with like the dreams and the psychic connection here, they're just realizing... They can either choose you or they can choose their pride. Yeah, they had some distractions going on now. Or they had some distractions, I should say. Yeah, taking it slow, pulling them and getting to know each other. There's still the desire to take it slow there, but it's like... I think they use finances and career as an excuse. Any one last... Two last cards. Two last cards. Cold, guarded, distrusting. New love, faded encounter, though. I think that you might actually, you might have new love coming in, too, though. And I keep getting that from my zodiac signs that, like, you guys aren't really stuck in this energy. You can have more than this if you want. But this is just the current energy I'm getting from the ex. So if this resonates um, and you'd like a private reading, my email is below. Uh, I do have specials going on for January and please subscribe if it resonates too. And you know, any donations are appreciated. My PayPal link is below even just a dollar. It really, I get a lot of views and I don't really get a lot of um, tips or anything, but it's like even just a dollar with so many views, it really adds up. So it's much appreciated. And thank you guys for watching.